Hello, today I'm going to be talking about Google Docs as a tech tool. Google Docs is an online program of Office applications which can run on any browser. And with Google Docs, you can create, save, share, and download different documents. So today I'm going to show you some ways that Google Docs can be used in the classroom and explain why it's a great tech tool for both teachers and students. Google Docs is available free to anyone with a Google account, and Google accounts are also free. So you simply log in with an email and a password, and Google Docs can be accessed anywhere with internet, which is great and wonderfully useful because all schools have internet connection, and you find Google Docs under the Drive option. With Google Docs, you can create many things, including folders, documents, presentations, spreadsheets, forms, and drawings. And one thing that's really nice is you can download your completed things in many different forms, such as PDFs, which we use a lot in this class, and also JPEG files and other things. So Google Docs helps students. It assists them with collaboration, peer assessment, and development. And today, Caitlin's been kind enough to bring her computer, and she's going to help me demo a little bit how Google Docs how Google Docs can be used with multiple students. One of the best uh, features on Google Docs that's really unique is that you can share things. So the owner of the document, which is me, simply adds somebody's email, and then you choose whether they can edit, can comment, or can view something. Caitlin can edit this document, which means that we can collaborate together. So. So Caitlin and I have a document created um, about cats, <laughs> and you can see that she can add comments in addition to my list, which allows different ideas, perspectives, and information to be shared. In that way, students and students are both the teachers and the learners at the same time. Because Google Docs is an online tech tool, you can also use the internet while you're using Google Docs. So students can pull up different tabs and search Google for images or other things so Caitlin can add a picture. And it's been proven that synchronous communication, which is communication at the same time, allows students the opportunity to give feedback, clarify things, and share ideas very quickly, which is really nice. The fact that multiple students can work on the same document also allows the chance for formative assessment with the can view and can share features. If you look at the comments section, students can look at each other's work and comment constructively. So I can say something like, how's my presentation going? And Caitlin can immediately comment back, you rock. Thanks, Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> students gain a greater understanding of their work process if they're involved in the grading process because they understand how they're being evaluated. And peer assessment does teach transferable life skills, such as working together. Another thing is that Google Docs assists um, with both cognitive and social development because students need to learn socialization skills, especially in the younger grades, which is um, what we're all going to be teaching. And so working together does help facilitate the socialization skills and the different offerings of Google Docs supports diverse talents and ways of learning. In addition to helping students, Google Docs helps teachers. Most of the things that I found are benefits with organization. So Google Docs can help minimize the number of handouts. I think we've probably all had scenarios where teachers print hundreds of handouts and students either lose them or the parents never receive them. So if a teacher keeps all rubrics and other forms on Google Docs, I've put our grading rubric for the assignment up, you can simply share them with all your students and their parents, and it's a convenient way and environmentally friendly to keep everything in one place. Google Docs also saves all work, which is great because it functions as a permanent portfolio for students. My drive on Google Docs has everything I've ever made all the way back to 2008 because I started using Google Docs in high school. And that's really, really useful to look back at different assignments. Google Docs can also function as a database for the teacher because if you create something like folders, then you can put all your students' work in some place, in one place, and pull examples over the years. Um, I've put some of our links for the Wikipedia articles, so you can see that a teacher in the future could find those. And finally, Google Docs is useful because it can free up time for, time for teachers. 
if students are peer assessing each other, then the teacher doesn't necessarily need to give feedback until after an assignment is turned in. And if you use Google Docs in the outside of the classroom for group work, then a teacher has more time in class for different lessons. There are a few weaknesses to Google Docs, but I believe they can be easily overcome. The first is that you must have connectivity to the internet, but students without home access to the internet could visit the public library. You must be 13 in the US to have a Google account, but I thought about this and I think that if a parent were to create a Google account and let their student use it with supervision, or if a teacher were to create a Google account and give all their students the password to it, it could still be a safe option as long as there is student parent involvement and monitoring. There's also some privacy concerns and I think a solution to this would be that students would give their parents the password and also share them on the documents so that parents become familiar and understand what's going on. So while there are some weaknesses to overcome with Google Docs, I greatly believe that the strengths outnumber the problems. I've used Google Docs for a long time, and I think that it can be especially useful inside and outside the classroom for both teachers and students. I hope that you've learned a lot today about the benefits of Google Docs and that you use it in the future because it's a great tech tool that has a lot of capabilities and it's pretty easy to use.